So today I'm going to be taking you through how you can access and use the pollution impact potential or PIP maps to see if your farm's located in a high risk area for potential losses of nitrogen and phosphorus to waters. So if you go to the catchments.ie website and along the top, there's a toolbar, you click on the button which says maps. And that will take you into our mapping system and you land on the Ireland page. You can zoom in to your location within Ireland using the tools down in the bottom right of your page, clicking on the plus button there to zoom in. Or you can use the search uh, function over on the left to enter your air code using search tools here. You can put in your air code, which will zoom straight to your farm. So I am selecting a place in Buttevant, the Buttevant Post Office for demonstration. And we zoom in there into Buttevant, which has the local stream, the Aubeg nearby. So the pip maps have a zoom control on them and you're zoomed in too far at the moment to see those maps. So you need to zoom out by at least three clicks again on the bottom right. So one, two, three. You can turn on the uh, aerial photo by hovering over the three buttons and clicking on digital globe, which will bring up all the fields and streams in the area to give you a sense of where you are. So to access the pip maps along the toolbar up on the top, there's a pressures on activities button, which you can scroll down and see pollution impact potential. And there are four maps in there. So if we look at the nitrate potential map first and click on the button. So you can see a range of colors on the map. There are seven different classes of risk of loss of nitrate to waters. And they're colored up from the highest risk being the darkest purple down through the pinks and the oranges to the lightest colors. The darker the color, the higher the risk of loss of nitrate. And that's based on the freely draining soils and the most intensive uh, farming activity. So you can see around Buttevant, there are areas of high risk of loss of nitrate down in the, the southern part of the area. So to check on the phosphorus risks, we can go back up to pressures and activities, click off the nitrate map and go into the phosphorus map instead. And this is the same idea. There's again, seven different classes of risk with the darker the color, the greater the risk of loss of phosphorus this time to waters. So the darker blue is the highest risk moving through the blues and the greens down to the lighter colors. The phosphorus risks are based on the poorly draining soils and a reasonable level of farming activity, giving you the highest risk. There are two additional maps that help target where your measures go for phosphorus risks, and they're also in the same location. There's a PIP-P flow delivery paths, we'll switch that on, and also PIP-P flow delivery points. And what these extra two layers do is show you within the highest risk areas where the best places are to focus the measures. These uh, red and yellow lines show where the overland pathways are for rainfall and phosphorus and sediment movement on the soils and the points show where those pathways intersect the rivers. So these are the best place to put your pathway interception measures. So when you've used the maps and you've determined whether you're in a nitrate risk area or a phosphorus risk area, you can talk to your local advisors to figure out with him or her what the best actions are to take to protect your local water quality. To learn more about how to improve water quality in your area, visit catchments.ie, smartfarming.ie, chagas.ie or speak to your local advisor.